Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Tenant Farmer. My name, as always, is David. Hope you're doing very, very well indeed. And you join us here today on another cracking day, I must say. It's early April now. Uh, gardens are looking good. Produce is being made. That's going to be shipped away very soon. Um, beef cattle shed is still empty. Going to be empty for a few more months there, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're looking good. Uh, the spring jewel crops, the oats and the barley that we put in there have already started to emerge through and they brought the weeds with them. So we're going to have to get on there later on today and get a bit of herbicide put down. Uh, we haven't done that quite yet because uh, it's a little bit too windy. You might be picking some of that up on the microphone right now, but essentially we just need to sit tight and wait for a little bit there. So the, the Massey uh, 5470 is all ready to go and we'll just hang tight. Hopefully we'll get the opportunity and uh, we'll be able to get going later on this afternoon. That's the plan uh, and we'll see. But otherwise, a bit of a slower day at the moment. Cash up with a few little odds and ends. Got something that we're going to do later on. Uh, but first of all, I, did, I, I promised I was going to do a little job for somebody. So you'll see here we've got a, we've hired uh, this rather unique little uh, planter. And we're going to be using this for the wild bird seed area that we had going last winter. We're going to drill some... Uh, sunflowers back into there today uh, this is actually about a four meter planter I think it will take the it actually extends out but it's not ours we've just borrowed it for about six acres uh, and we'll get that back to them later on today or tomorrow it doesn't have to go in too well but it just has to go in the ground so that's uh, what we're aiming for there uh, so the Massey the new Massey is going to get a run out with that but first of all it is the little 90s big day out today uh, this is the the first tractor of choice of the day it's come off the feeder wagon uh, the Keenan feeders parked over there, haven't just fed up this morning. It's a lot easier and quicker to feed up this morning now because we've only got one set of cattle to do. Uh, which means that we're going to take this for a bit of a road trip. And then inside that road trip, we've got a little bit of a job to do. Uh, so we're going to get cracking with that. We've got the topper on the back here. Uh, and we're going to head over to a uh, onto the other side of the village where there is a, a little uh, a little bit of a grass paddock really that we need to go and have a little bit of work in. Uh, it's something they do every year, I promise uh, to the owners of the paddock there that we'll just knock it down for them just as it starts to grow and actually going past it I have often in the past made a few bales off it but uh, it's just little stalky dead grass today so we're going to leave it be and then we'll um, we're just going to knock it over it's only, take a, it's only about maybe an acre at best and uh, we'll be able to uh, just top that off and hopefully see some better grass coming into, into it but I think if they're going to use it for anything have a half an hour of bringing a horse on there i think the grass quality is terrible so i don't know what they're going to really use it for but that's not my problem uh what i'm here today to do is not hit the gate on the way out is just go and knock us down nice and quickly there so it's a bit of fun bit of an easy uh, job to do today everything's starting to grow quite quickly actually around here we've seen some really good growing weather uh we've had about six mil eight mil of rain in the last uh uh, last three days so it's a it's giving you something to get the a bit of moisture in the ground there uh, which is good a little bit more wouldn't hit for me being honest but uh for right now this would be grand and it's like i say it just keeps me out of mischief really uh and then yeah i've got plenty of other little small jobs to do uh, but one of the main reasons i like to to do that with this tractor is one it's nice and small and compact but this only really gets used on the feeder wagon uh, around the yards and then also in the uh we'll go next to the uh on the baler now if i think all well and good is going to be back on the baler or at least the tether in the uh summer but this just gives me a bit of a chance to to run it a bit more consistently at higher revs there aside from what we do with the feed wagon um make sure everything else mechanically is good get it into top gear get the engine running over there a little bit more get the gearbox firing through and just see how we're going so yeah, like i say not a huge field by any stretch but give me something to do something a little bit different there yeah this tractor could all all being said still have quite an important uh, part to play this summer uh but we'll uh we'll see how we go also potentially going to stick the baler onto the on, onto one of my uh onto the small of the two masses but we'll see all right that's fired away one thing i do know that works effortlessly on this tractor is the pto like I said, that gets used pretty much on the daily. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, have a drive through here and see see how we get on. Like I say, very stalky grass. There's not much to it at all. Not really good for anything. So uh, it'll just take a bit of a pounding. And then we'll be all good. 
like I said, otherwise everything else is looking good, really. Um, what we might do in the next episode... Oh, a little bit of a, a wet spot there, I think. What we might do in the next episode there is just go and have a bit of a look at the, the quality of the grass that's coming through. Uh, and see if we are... Uh, see how it looks. See what we re reckon to it. I'm quite proud and pleased with how the spring oats are coming through, I must say. That's starting to look very, very good indeed. All right. And around the corner we go. This actually seems to be more grass there than you might think. Ooh, easy. There's three. Have to see how that looks when we finish it. But yeah, like I said, it's been really strong, strong growing conditions of light there. So it's uh, it's always always interesting to see how the the better the grass is growing through there. See how thick it is. Uh, it bodes well if the if my ice first got silage grounds like this as well. We'll probably end up making quite a bit before we turn our attention to hay. But yeah, we're just gonna keep cracking on. We'll get a few headlands over this. Won't be too much stuff to do by the time we've done that. And then we'll see uh, what the rest of this field looks like once we get it all knocked out. Well, all right, we're just down to the tiniest little bit in the middle now, and it's uh, it's all right. That's not taking too long here. Got the feet warmed up a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll be all looking good. So. Uh, it's like I say, more grass in here than I thought we were going to see, which is alright, but um, still, it's not good quality this time around. If we were to do anything with it, Destry would need a reseed, but then it's only just a small pasture, so whether they put horses on here or stick trees in it or whatever they do, it'll be, uh, it'll be put to some use somewhere. Uh, yeah, nice and dry in the foot, which is uh, really good, not making any mess on the hillside here. And uh, we'll just leave this grass to slowly... Uh, rot away and decompose really and put some organic matter back into the soil but otherwise just a couple more passes and we'll be all good and done uh and then it's off to go and try and try our hand with a bit of planting really it's not really something that we've done too much of before we'll see how it goes uh but yeah we're just gonna wing it it doesn't need to be we're not worried about the yield there effectively it's just gonna be for cover and for winter feed and for beards so how it looks how it uh yields don't really care uh, but yeah, it's a good little thing to do there and it's uh, yeah Happy to be able to add that bit back in really for the local fauna and and Yeah, we'll see how it's all uh, how it's all coming together uh, Do let us know what you get up to A time of the year where we're kind of getting ready for a few different bits and pieces few other jobs around the farm But do let me know what you're cracking along with at the moment I'm Always intrigued to know uh, we are, like I say, beef did very well. I think we reported on that last time around. Really brought you all up to speed with that. There's some good, strong beef prices there. Looking to get the pigs away in the next uh, three weeks, I think. Not all of them, because uh, we do stagger our, our ages there. So we've got um, one, about half the group are about a year to, to 15 months younger. Um, so we have to get them in to sort them out to pick out the ones that we want to send away to, uh, to the abattoir there. But yeah, that's, a, that's another job to do. And we're looking to see how that's going. But yeah, with this, we'll just nip back and uh, get that little chunk there. And that's just as good as done. Look at that. Happy days. Alright then. I uh, missed it there, but uh, it'll be okay. And we're off. So we'll take this back out and over to the yard. Uh, the Massey is all ready to go, pretty much. Got a little bit of seed in there as well. You can lay back on. And away we go. In stop gear and we're off. Cracking little track to this one actually. When you get when you get a go properly there, it's absolutely superb. It's everything that we need without a hitch. Uh, never really gets us to do too much, but it's always nice to know that we can stick onto the small little jobs around the place. Get yeah, it all tied up here. Once upon a time, this would have been a uh, the one of the major players on the farm here. But it's nice to know it's still got a place. And really, like I'm not to touch this with a spanner in. I don't know how long. Uh, aside from an oil change of service every year. Which we'll probably get actually in uh, before we start harvest. I'll get a good check over if nothing else. And 
then we'll just sling it into the shed for now. Bring out the Massey there, and we'll go and have a bit of a dabble and uh, see see what that looks like. That Massey does look pretty good, though. Excellent stuff. All right, well, we've we'll got a few bits and pieces we need, and then we'll go for a bit of a cruise over and have a look at what we're doing. All right, so as you can see, as we drive through our uh, meadow fields here, the grass is really starting to look quite good in here, actually. Uh, really cracked on in the last couple of weeks, uh, so we might actually look to get a bit of first cut silage off there because it's really starting to look very good indeed, as is our field of winter oilseed rapier. Now, I think we might actually have to just flatten a bit as we get around the skate post here. Uh, it's shot on. Once we try and creep around the corner, it's absolutely cracked along recently, which is great to see. So, uh, looking really, really good, actually. What we'll do right now, we've just already uh, unfolded out the, uh, the drill. Let's have a bit of a look. So you can see this is how all the uh, the previous crop mulched down there did really well actually missed a few bits i think the tractor tires flattened actually and uh didn't come back up properly until now but never mind i don't care too much uh lots of nice organic matter there though just to keep uh, cover the ground keep a bit of moisture in there more than anything else um and we'll see as for yeah the obviously grapes don't look really really good actually it's really kicked on there it's added about six inches in height recently and i'm very happy with how that's looking so that was direct drilled if you recall and it's looking good for it so we'll see how we get on with that uh here though we're sticking some sunflowers into the ground like i say so let's just uh well we'll go for it really just a little bit direct drilling see how we go now i want to make sure it's, just, it's linked into the computer there i just need to find it and make sure it's all looking good excellent i think we're looking good there Lower down the front loader. Perfect. Okay, so in a way, we go. We're off. Excellent stuff. So like I say, we're just going to drill this in. Uh, let's try and get a bit of a marker down here. There it goes. Wham. Uh, I think we're looking at around about six meters, actually. Not the... Uh, not the original four and a half meters like I thought, but hey, it just means we get it done even quicker. Uh, and then, yeah, that's going to be this field done, just so we don't even have to look at it or think about it moving forward. And uh, we'll do this all again next year, I think. So, uh, really looking forward, looking to get some experts in just to see if we have any more activities from different species. Get out of the shop. But I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that is going to be the plan. And I think it's going to work well. So, we'll see how it gets on and we'll keep you along for the ride anyway. Everything's starting to grow. We are in April now. Everything's looking really good for it as well. And, uh, won't be too long until the mowers are coming out, I don't think. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Like I said before, do mention down below. Drop me a comment if you are progressing nicely on your farm. Let me know what you're getting up to. And uh, we will see you all later on for the next episode. So until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll see you in the next one.